African icons today, we have John Kufour, born December 8, 1938, in Kinshasa. He was the seventh of ten children. John Kufour was educated in Prepe College in Kumasi and in Great Britain. He was called to Bar in 1961 at Lincoln's Inn, London, and then studied at the University of Oxford, where in 1964 he earned a master's degree in philosophy, politics, and economics. After completing his education, Kufour returned to Ghana and launched his political career. In 1967, he became the chief legal officer and town's clerk for the city of Kumasi. In 1969, he was a member of parliament and deputy foreign minister in the government of Kofi Buzwa. After Buzwa was overthrown in 1972, Kufour spent several years as a businessman in the private sector. During Ghana's transition back to democracy in 1979, Kufour returned to public life. He was a member of the assembly that drafted the constitution of the Third Republic and was elected to parliament in 1979, serving as deputy minority parliament leader. After Jerry Rowling's overthrew the government in late 1981, Kufour stayed on as Rowling's secretary for local government. He resigned less than a year later, however, expressing his disappointment with the Rowling's regime. Kufour spent the rest of that decade as a private citizen until Ghana returned to democratic politics in 1992. He helped form the National Patriotic Party and in 1996 became the party's candidate for president. Though Kufour lost to Rawlings in the national election that year, the MPP still nominated him to stand on the December year 2000 elections. Kufour ran on a platform that emphasized improving the Ghanaian's economy and educational system and capitalized on the mood of voters who were ready for a change in the leadership. On January 7, 2001, Kufour began his first term as president. His inauguration marked the first peaceful transition of power between democratically elected governments since Ghana's independence in 1957. He spent his first year in office concentrating his efforts on the national economy. Though unemployment and inflation remained high, the national currency stabilized and investment in the country increased. After being re-elected in 2004, Kufour visited many countries to build stronger ties with the international community. He stepped down from office upon the end of his second term and was succeeded by John Atta Mills in January of 2018. Former President Kufour was conferred with the post of the first chancellor of the George Grant University of Mines and Technology in Ghana. He was a member of the Freemason.